Hey guys, so today's video has been requested a million and four times over the last couple of weeks, so today we're covering the topic of diabetic hamster diets. This is going to be split into several sections to make it easier to follow, so I hope you enjoy and I hope it's informative. Diabetes is a condition involving the pancreas, an important organ in the digestive system and the organ that helps to control blood sugar levels. Many animals can be affected by diabetes, including humans. Some species of hamster are also prone to developing diabetes in their lifetime. Diabetes is caused when either the pancreas does not produce enough insulin or when the body does not respond correctly to the insulin being produced. The result of this is high blood sugar levels that must be kept under control in order to keep the sufferer healthy. The worst side of diabetes is once it's developed there is no cure. The right kind of controlled diet can help prevent diabetes and can also help those already diagnosed with the condition to live a normal, long, happy life. There are only two species of hamster prone to diabetes and one cross species. The Chinese hamster, Campbell's dwarf hamster and hybrid dwarf hamster are all species at risk. Now this is where things often confuse people because many people still don't understand what a hybrid is. A hybrid, also called the Russian dwarf hamster, is a common but unnatural cross species between winter white genetics and Campbell's genetics. Hybrids can appear as either of those hamsters or even look like a mix between the two. The problem is that it's absolutely impossible to tell if your winter white or Campbell's is a hybrid just by looking at it. Thankfully, the hamster world came up with a surefire way of knowing if your hamster is a pure winter white or Campbell's or if it's a hybrid, simply by using pedigrees. All pure winter whites and Campbell's come with a certificate of pedigree. This is simply a form that details who the parents, grandparents and great-grandparents are. Many pedigrees will go back as far as seven generations. Suppliers of pure winter whites and Campbell's are incredibly strict about making sure they give you the pedigree with the hamster, so any winter white or Campbell's who did not come with a pedigree certificate, including those from pet shops, rescues and some breeders, must be classed as a hybrid and must be classed as prone to diabetes. This is because of the Campbell's genes in hybrids. Because Campbell's are at risk, so are they. Syrians, Roborowski dwarfs and pedigree winter whites are not prone to diabetes. Do keep in mind it's still possible for these species to get diabetes, but cases are so rare that there's no need to take precautions. So as my little example hamster, I have here my little enzyme Amylase, who looks 100% like a winter white in her colouring, size and shape, but was not given to me with a pedigree, so she is classed as a winter white hybrid and has a very controlled diet to prevent her developing diabetes. I'm going to show you what she eats as her main food and her treats. The basis of any hamster diet should be the muesli mix, and it needs to be a mixture with a protein content of 19%. The higher the percentage, the better. Burgess Hamster Harvest is one of the best food mixes for any hamster, because its protein content is made up of animal and vegetable proteins. Harry and Hazel Hamster are also good to use, but their protein content is only made up of vegetable proteins, and as omnivores, hamsters do need meat in their diet. The mix I have at the minute is neither of these, because I had lots of leftovers from other commercial mixes I tested, so I've combined these leftovers together. Once this is gone, I will be going back to using Burgess and Harry Hamster. How much you feed of the mix is entirely up to you, but the ideal amount for a 30 to 45 gram dwarf or Chinese hamster is one heaped teaspoon per day or when the bowl is empty. This may not look like much, but when the other foods are added, your hamster will have plenty to eat. Once you have put the mix in their bowl, the next step is very important. Go through the food and pick out any corn, flaked corn and flaked peas, as these are all high in sugars. Also pick out a few of the sunflower seeds if there are too many, as seeds are again high in sugars and also high in fats. Leave between 5 and 8 sunflower seeds, as they are still a necessary part of the diet. Large pumpkin seeds should be reduced to just two a day. If your hamster is under a year old, then you'll need to make sure they're getting extra protein. Aim to provide your hamster with at least one teaspoon of high protein food every day. And when a hamster reaches a year old, reduce this to only three times a week. Protein comes in many hamster safe forms, including hard boiled or scrambled egg, plain boiled chicken or turkey, tofu, dried or freshly killed mealworms, Tuna in water, make sure you drain before feeding. Low-fat cheese, including low-fat cottage cheese, but not processed or squeezy cheese. Low-fat plain yoghurt, not flavoured and not with any bits in it. White fish, plain, with no added flavours or seasonings. 
High fiber foods are also good for lowering blood sugar, and whole grain foods help to carry glucose, sugar, to the cells. A variety of the following foods should be fed at least three times a week. Cooked brown rice, one eighth of a plain Weetabix, whole wheat bread, cooked whole grain pasta, wheat germ, nutritional yeast. Vegetables are an important part of a hamster's diet at any age and should be fed daily. Avoid carrots, corn, sprouts and parsley as these are not good for diabetic or prone hamsters. Again, for a hamster of 30 to 45 grams, a teaspoon of vegetables is all that's needed. You can find a link to a list of safe vegetables in the description box below. Fruit must be completely avoided with diabetes prone hamsters. This is because it's very high in natural sugars. This includes apples, pears, grapes, raisins, tomatoes, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, cherries, strawberries, all citrus fruits like oranges, lemons and limes, and any other fruit you can think of. Treats containing honey are a huge no-no as honey is mostly made of natural sugar. Commonly seen honey treats include honey drops and the popular seed sticks. These can actually come in many shapes including circles and stars, but the most common are those that hang from the top of the cage on a stick. Even without the honey, they aren't great treats for these hamsters because of all those fatty seeds. Talking of treats, what kind of treats should you feed to diabetes prone hamsters? Well, you can still feed most hamster treats like yogurt drops, hamster biscuits, cheese bites, etc. But the best kind of treats to go for are naturals. Burgess makes a great range of these. They're mostly dried flowers and plants or treats made with plants as their main ingredient. And these are the best kind and also not too pricey. Natural treats can be fed daily, but regular hamster treats should only be fed two or three times a week. If your hamster isn't yet on a controlled diet, the likelihood is that you'll start to see some positive changes in them once they are. Behavioral changes are the most noticeable. Hamsters on natural diets are typically less hyper, less aggressive, and stay at a healthy weight. You may notice a small amount of weight loss or gain on changing their diet, and this is to be expected. It's a good idea to weigh your hamster weekly and monitor their weight as fluctuations can indicate illness, including the onset of diabetes. Keep a diary of their weekly weight so you can track their progress. Remember that a controlled diet can prevent diabetes from developing and can allow your hamster to live a long and happy life. A hamster who already has diabetes will benefit from their controlled diet too, and although they will never be cured of the condition, diet changes will make their lives much easier and longer. If you want to learn more about diabetes itself, or read about my experiences with a diagnosed diabetic hybrid dwarf hamster, you can find this and much more on our website, www.erinshamsters.wix.com forward slash hamsters. Also, if you know of someone who owns a Chinese hamster, Campbell's Dwarf, or a hybrid dwarf, don't forget to share this video with them. Awareness for diabetes in hamsters is minimal, so sharing this information can help not only to educate, but to help save a hamster's life. Thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!